Many a times, tuberculosis (TB) goes undetected for years, leading to a great risk of spread of disease. It leads to poor health consequences, family distress, and economic hardships, and thus, early diagnosis of TB is a key to mitigate its impact and control it. There are two approaches to diagnose TB at the earliest, which includes patient-initiated pathway and screening pathway. In patient-initiated pathway, a person, after experiencing TB symptoms, starts taking care of himself or herself. However, its success depends on criteria like sufficient knowledge of TB, ability of a medical practitioner to identify who should and who shouldn't be tested, quality assured diagnostic services, access to high quality healthcare services, adequate knowledge of when and how to pursue care. Whereas, screening pathway refers to the active identification of persons with suspected TB among people who do not actively seek care for symptoms compatible with TB and among people who just start but do not follow a thorough patient-initiated pathway. For quick and accurate detection of TB and drug resistance TB, it is essential to have a laboratory system with modern diagnostic equipments, an appropriate lab infrastructure, and sufficiently trained personnel. As MTB grows slowly in around three to six weeks, nucleic acid amplification tests NAATS like Gene Expert and Line Probe SA LPA holds utmost importance in diagnostic algorithm. Tests like chest radiography and smear, ZN staining are also a great tool for the early detection of TB.